If there is a universal language in this world besides love, it has to be music. Don't you think? Music holds the power to uplift and calm and unite. And that's what inspired the One Sound Piano Project and the upcoming community jam session in the Quad Cities. Tyson Danner, executive director of uh, River Music Experience, joins me now with um, all about this great music stuff. Did you, have, you guys have a lot going on right now. We do. Summertime cool. is a busy season for us. The Piano Project. I think this is, um, have, you, have you seen the pianos out and about? How many are there? There are 10 all throughout the Quad Cities. Mm -hmm. what, what's the most popular location? Oh, probably a tie between Nyabi Zoo mm -hmm. and the Farmer's Market in downtown Davenport. Those are very high traffic areas and lots of kids and they get sure. to go and touch and play. You know, kids are usually told, don't touch the piano, right. don't make noise, and they get to walk up and play. So that's the point of this, uh, to make music wherever wherever the pianos happen to be. Um, are, are you finding that it's um, that people are, are seeking them out and, and wanting to take part? Yeah, on our website we have a little interactive map, so you can go click on the pictures, see where they are, and we've had people track each of them down. And we've had our site partners, uh, like the Botanical Center, say, hey, somebody came here um, because, oh, they were looking for the piano, so they came for the piano, and then they wound up walking through the gardens, and they just had a great time. Do you know where all of these are, are located? Like, what's that? What's that? So one that does? one's at the airport there, that beautiful uh, mm. piano by Lisa Mahar. There's mm -hmm. antique archaeology in the Clare. Oh, we have others at Vanderveer mm -hmm. Park, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, throughout the Quad Cities, we've got... Um, I mentioned LeClaire, it, two in Rock Island. One is by Quad City Arts, that one. In and Arts they're all decorated. I mean, these are not ordinary pianos. They're art pieces. Right, they've yeah. all been painted by local artists. So we had 10 local artists. We hired them to submit a design, and it was all of their own creation. They hung out in our basement and <laughs> sanded them down and painted them and created something that's musical and beautiful. That one is one of my favorites. It's at Runner's Park in East Moline. That is very cool. Now, I'm thinking about the weather. You know, we have all kinds of weather. I mean, we had, remember how hard it rained over the weekend. I mean, what happens during those times? Most of them are under some kind of cover. Um, okay. So they're under an awning, they're under an, uh, uh, you know, a roof of some kind, and others get brought in by our awesome site partners. They oh, bring okay. them outside and they bring them in. They also have covers. West Music was so generous and donated some piano covers mm -hmm. so that the cover gets slipped on if there's oh, bad neat. weather. Yeah. And what, what will happen to them at the end of October? That's when you're going to uh, stop, About the right? end of October, most of the outdoors ones come in. There's a few that are indoors, like at the airport, mm -hmm. but they'll come back inside. Uh, most of our partners this year said, send us another one next year. Yeah. So we're going to work through that and, and be uh, setting up the program again next year. Um, and they'll all come back in and go into storage for a little while before they pop back out around Memorial Day next year. Community Jam Session. That's happening on the 18th of September on, on a Sunday. You're invited to bring whatever instrument you play or if you just, you, your instrument is your voice. Mm -hmm. And everybody's going to get together and play and sing together. Together, as one. And you can be a brand new beginner, learning your first chord on the guitar, or you could be a, a pro, having played professionally for 40 years. The idea is we get everybody together, and we're playing the same songs at the same time, oh, and meeting songs. each other. Okay, so, listen to the songs, you okay, guys. Okay, the songs are really yes. fun. Listen to the music, the old Doobie Brothers tune. Mm -hmm. um, Martha and the Vandellas, Dancing in the Streets. Some people might know other versions of that. We're going back to the original Martha and the Vandellas version. Yes. So that'll be a lot of fun. Hey Ya by Outkast. That was big for my generation. Sure. Shake yeah. it like a Polaroid yeah. picture. I th I th yeah, I think you're hitting <laughs> all the generations pretty well. Well, well we really carefully selected a lot of different time periods and genres, but the big finale is Jukebox Hero, so that's the one where all the guitar players just get to wail away. And how long will it last, uh, Tyson, on that day, on that Sunday? The, the jam session is... The playing of the four songs will probably take about 30, 40 minutes, but we're inviting to people to start arriving around 1 o'clock and have plenty of time to set up. We'll have electricity if you have an amp, but everybody mm -hmm. has to bring their amp, bring their music stand, bring whatever you need. We'll see if we can get a few hundred musicians all joining together and playing. That is that is very creative, and it could be a mess, but a fun <laughs> mess. <laughs> That's the goal. Right? Our hope is that it's so big that it's hard to handle, yes. because that means more musicians are coming out and connecting with you each other. You better be out there to shepherd and guide that, because that could be something else. Uh, a lot of fun. What a great idea. So that's that jam session coming up on the 18th on a Sunday, uh, September. Uh, River Music Experience. You guys are making a splash. Good job. We're having fun. Tyson, good to have you here today. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being here.